people always ask me, Dr. Phil, what is your most favorite show? I can answer it by category. The category of show that I, I love the most is the opportunity to give a voice to those that don't have a voice. And right now, there's no better chance to do that than to be a voice for Richard Glossop. I got involved in this case when my great and dear friend, Jason Plum, who's one of the founders of the Innocence Project, brought this to my attention uh, back in 2015. When I really dug into it, it was very, very unsettling. The fact that it involved an Oklahoman really hit home to me. And I want to talk about Barry Van Trees because an Oklahoman lost their life here, right? Let's not forget that a man was murdered. That man deserves justice. Now, I just want to be real clear. If you've watched me at all over the last couple of decades, you know I am pro-law enforcement from A to Z. It's been said I bleed blue. Every day these men and women get up and stand in the gap to keep us safe. But it is not an error-free system. And I believe that we're here today to make sure Richard Glossop at least gets a fair trial. I, I think he should be set free personally but he at least deserves a fair trial and has never had a fair trial. When a prosecutor gets a confession, they should be required to dissect that confession the same way they dissect a denial. Because a prosecutor's job is not to get a conviction. A prosecutor's job is to get justice. Take it from me, I study why people do what they do and don't do what they don't do, and I understand it's hard for somebody to get six weeks, six months, six years into a case and forget that their job, their duty to you is to get justice. And if they're six months or six years into a case and discover, whoa, there's something here that says we are on the wrong path with the wrong man, it is their duty to you to stand up and say stop. We got the wrong person here and we need to admit that and let it go. You know, I'm a fan of the jury system. I spent most of my professional career in the litigation arena. You know what? They probably did the right thing with the information they had, but they didn't have all the information. And we know that now, don't we? And how do we know that? Because the highest law enforcement officer in the state of Oklahoma courageously stepped up and said, we blew this. We erred. <laughs> Attorney General Drummond is the first Attorney General in the history of Oklahoma to have the courage to stand up and say, we made a mistake here. One of the things he said is, I respectfully urge you to recommend clemency for Richard Glossop. He said, I am confessing error, confessing error by the state which would cast reasonable doubt on Mr. Glossop's conviction for first degree murder. The Attorney General says, I am confessing error by the state. But the fact of the matter, between 1989 and 2019, 2,468 people have served over 21,000 years for crimes they were ultimately exonerated on. And the reasons, among the top reasons, were false accusations, perjury, and official misconduct. And all three of those things have taken place here. So I'm asking myself, what's going on? It's one thing to admit making a mistake, it's another thing to make it right. And that's what we're asking be done here. And it is always the right time to do the right thing. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.